make sure you can see. Let's talk about these critical failures for breaking and passing. Okay? Critical failure number one, my knees are too close together. He grabs my wrists, he leans over, he leans his knees over to one side and I fall. He takes the top. That's a critical failure. Mm. Once you realize that knees together sucks, you get Y, right? Pretty simple. That makes sense, doesn't it? Y base. Right? Now, I, if you forget to make the space, my knee is supporting his leg. So when I go to push him down, do you see how his knee, his leg doesn't go down, it's stuck on my leg? He might not like it, but it doesn't go to the ground, right? Put my knee in his butt, I make the space. Now, there's plenty of space there, and I drive this thing to the ground hard. By the way, <laughs> I, I can torture him with this if I, hit that, if I hit that nerve just right. All right, some of you guys did dog peeing on fire hydrant. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like this. He hooks the bottom leg and I get uh, I get half guarded. He locks this leg up. Go ahead and wrap your legs around. So, so basically now I'm kind of stuck dealing with this. I gotta do this stuff, right? Dog peeing on the fire hydrant is not the way. We knee slice. Now, if you choose, let's get where the camera can see us. If you choose to make space break and you want to knee slice this leg over, you gotta hold it down so he can't get the leg. So I'm trapping this with my ankle. I don't know if y'all can see on that side, but I'm not letting this leg go until this leg escapes. Now, I can move it. Does that make sense? The better technique, I should say the more advanced technique, I learned it that way first. Great guard. Now when I do this, I can easily turn and I'm holding you guys see how I've left this foot behind? I'm holding that leg down so you can't escape me. Right? So you can't re-entangle me, rather. Does that make sense? Yes, mm -hmm. All right. I hope that helps you. The last one's easy. The advanced people will know how to stop you or...